I'm making myself better by being in this interaction. I'm learning something about this person. I'm learning how to make a better social connection with other people and with this person in front of me. I'm seeing if this person's a good option for me. If she turns out not to be, that's okay too, because I walk away with a ton of rewards from the experience. process for courting and getting women, dating, pickup, and all that stuff is a little bit different than some of the stuff you see out there. Because I focus on the intrinsic reward of pickup, dating, being on the date, you know, having that interaction with that woman. I'm looking for the reward in the moment that I'm actually with this person. I'm looking for the reward of the effort. Okay. So my reward isn't, I don't have to psych myself up because I really don't give a shit, right? I'm outcome independent. And the reward at the end, I mean, yeah, I enjoy the reward. It doesn't take away from the reward at the end, but the reward at the end is not the end state for me. Like that's not the reason for me to necessarily be on a date with a girl. If I, if I have, if I'm going out with a girl and I want to sleep with her, let's say let's, that's the goal, right? That, whether that happens or not, is not going to change my reward for being on that date. And that's just a simple shift in mindset. I looked at when I was, you know, in the dating market and even, you know, and you transfer it into your relationships as well in the dating market. I looked at it as I'm developing my skill sets here. I'm making myself better by being in this interaction. I'm learning something about this person. I'm learning how to make a better social connection with other people and with this person in front of me. I'm seeing if this person's a good option for me. If she turns out not to be, that's okay too, because I walk away with a ton of rewards from the experience. Maybe I just have a little bit of fun. Maybe if she turns out to be a total, total piece of crap, I can laugh about that and tell that to my friends and say something about it on Twitter or whatever, right? I mean, you know, there's a ton of rewards that I get from the process of just being there and that you can get those rewards too. That's the whole point. You see, your your quality of your relationships with women is predicated on your sexual market value, your skill, and your opportunity. Those three things, you have to develop the skill, all right? You can't develop the skill if you don't put in that effort in the middle of getting ready to go pick up on a girl or go on the date, and then sex at the end, or she wants to, you know, have your babies or whatever it is, you know, high desire, right? It, there's a whole bunch of things in the middle and you have to, it's the things in the middle that are, are what develop those skills. And even when, if you're just dating, you're just dating, you know, girls that, you know, you're not that interested in, it turns out, of course, you, you, you think you might be, get out with her and you're fine. Like, holy crap, this is not a long-term anything at all. You know what? I might close this date out early. In fact, that's fine. The skill set you're developing, though, during those times, you're going to apply for the relationships that you want later on. Because when you meet that girl that pushes all your buttons for you and that you really want to have as more of a regular fixture in your life, when you meet that person, the skill isn't going to come out of nowhere for you to get her and maintain that desire. That skill has to be developed. Now, some of it, her, you know, her attraction is not always a choice and there's a biological element, of course. And so, yeah, maybe because you're SMV and, and because of, you know, increasing that, she's going to be desiring, wanting you. But if your game sucks and your skill sucks, even though it's easier when you have high SMV, you still will not be successful. You won't keep her in, in, in any sense. You won't be able to maintain the frame that you want either. And so all of these things require skill. And in order for you to have, I mean, ending a bad date 
or some date where let's say you met her on a dating app and she fat fishes you right she's 50 pounds heavier than what her pictures look like you know she chews with her mouth open and there's a whole bunch of information about uh, her criminal record that she didn't disclose via text on the app. Who cares, right? That's a laugh, dude. You can have, you can still have fun with that experience. End it early because you're not going to waste a ton of time with that, right? And, and 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 not be completely thrown off about that. Not walk away from those experiences with this negative mindset about women in the dating market. You know, because that stuff is going to destroy your game, destroy your ability to do well. You know what I mean? And so it goes back to how you're neurologically wired for your for for delivering those net those neurochemicals for reward, your neurochemical system, your dopamine system. And so if you look at it like what's happening right now is good, even if it doesn't turn out the way that you want you just got a whole bunch of things from that experience. And even if it's just learning experience, maybe you didn't vet that, that chick that's a terrible match that you ended up out with. Maybe you didn't vet her quite as good as you should have on the apps. You know what I mean? And so that's a learning thing, right? That increases your skill level. And so embracing the suck in a way, not that it sucks today. I mean, that's actually not sucky. That's the kind of fun. But embracing that experience that you need to be having and focusing on that experience, that's going to help you because the lays will come, okay? The hot women will come if you are, literally, if you're focused in the moment and not so focused on the end state. And that's literally, I mean, even sexually, if you're too focused on that end state, she won't enjoy the experience and it's going to be a little bit more difficult for her and for you for that matter. And so that is kind of the message for today is you want to find your way to enjoy the experience and don't be so focused on the reward, finding the good quality woman, finding the girl who's going to sleep with you, you know, well, I'm just interested. I just want to get her into bed and this and that and the other. I mean, you know, of course you want to get her into bed. Yeah, sure. Right. I got it. Of course you want those, those things. That's why you're getting out there. There's nothing wrong with wanting and desiring those things. But that is not your focus, though, on, on the when you're when you're hitting the dating market. Your focus is on learning and bettering your skills and learning about this other person and vetting this other person out as a potential partner, right? The, that's your focus. With that mindset, she's going to qualify to you, and you're going to be enjoying the process and rewarding the effort. Now, at first, you're not going to enjoy the process. At first, you're not quite there yet with skill. There's some anxiety there. There's distress, right? You know, there's still some of you that's this, there's some bit of scarcity because you're not getting laid. If that's where you're at, if you're just kind of starting off or coming off a dry spell, you're not getting laid. You don't have women. So that's in, in, in your, in your skill level is not where you want it to be. So yeah, there's going to be some hardship and anxiety there, but so what, you know, that's where you focus and dig in deeper and you say, okay, man, like I'm going to just focus on the process and try to find the good for what I'm doing and putting in the effort. And, and you know what? I'm going to try to have fun with this as best as I can. Even though I don't feel like this is fun right now, I'm going to try to make this as fun as I can. And as I go through the process and better my skills, when that's your mindset, you will transfer your, reward, your body's natural reward systems, your dopamine systems will focus on the effort and not just on the extrinsic rewards. Once you do that, dating becomes fun. Dating becomes awesome. And here's how this translates. Get into the relationship now, right? You get into that LTR, some that chick that you've been trying to get, right? The one you've been waiting for or whatever, right? So now you're enjoying, um, now you're enjoying the process of, of courting her in the relationship. It's not just about getting her anymore. It's not just about, you know, this is how relationships become dull for guys and guys get really complacent. Guys get complacent in the relationship because they're, they were trying to solve their reproductive problem. They're trying to get the sex in with the girl that they would want. They get the girl that they would want and they're getting the sex and now the rewards there. So then they get in there in the relationship. So they're like, Oh, I finally made it. And they stop trying. Right. And when you do that, you stop trying, you start courting, you stop, in, you stop enjoying the time you're having with this other person. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to be booking a consult with me several months later going, I don't, I don't know why she's, 
you know, not hanging out with me anymore and we don't have sex anymore. And she's talking to Kevin from sales or Steve from accounting. Uh, what, what do I do? Right. Like, you know, that's not good. Right. Or, you know, she's, uh, she's not that excited to see me anymore. And I think she might be breaking up with me. You don't want that. Right. You, I don't, that's not the call I'd like to have to help you with. I mean, I can help you with that, but that's not really where we want to be. And so if you learn to enjoy the process of dating that will transfer into your actual relationship life as well, because you'll enjoy the process of courting the chick that you are supposedly into. Or